Sagittarius. What up, though, family? <clears throat> Welcome to Swimming Through the Void. This will be a general reading for the sign of Sagittarius, wherever that resonates at for you in your chart. Keep in mind, y'all, we all have a ninth house. We've all got Sag energy in our chart somewhere. So take what resonates, leave the rest. Um, energy is fluid, y'all. So um, this can resonate however, whenever. And these readings are timeless. So whenever this reading comes across your path, whenever you stumble across this reading, there will be a message here for you <clears throat> to help align you, to help bring you uh, clarity, to help empower you. Tapping in. To y'all energy Sagittarius this is deep here this is really big energy and this is beautiful this is a very good omen for you Sagittarius it feels like you've been sort of going through a rough time I'm feeling the the ending of a rough cycle here right I'm I'm seeing the light at the end of the tunnel here for you in whatever way that resonates this is a very good omen and this is beautiful energy well, for my Sagittarius collective so tapping into your energy Sag I see this support card this meander card eruption um, decay right and so what this really feels like is I'm hearing realignment um, this support card is definitely about calling on your angels for support to help you work through whatever this is, to help you dive into that shadow work, to help you sever ties with past situations, connections, whatever it may be, or even cut the cords to these rough times so that way you free your energy up to be able to move into this beautiful new energy, right? Where I see this beautiful harmony and productivity. So not only am I feeling growth here um on a sort of spiritual on a conscious level i'm also feeling um a lot of abundance headed your way this could be in love this could be in wealth prosperity physical um abundance whatever this is there's an abundance of good coming your way sagittarius after what feels like a pretty rough time on the bottom of the tarot deck over here we've got the judgment card and this is that new cycle this is awakening into a new life a new chapter releasing the old releasing the hurt releasing the pain releasing what's no longer serving you and um the betrayal whatever it may be and you're sort of seeing things differently you're seeing things in a different light you're seeing things in a better light to where you're realizing that nothing really happens to us sagittarius it all does in fact happen for us regardless of the circumstances our whole life is um we're in earth school right we're learning we're growing we're evolving and we are getting down to source to opening our hearts to who we truly are and what we truly want that being said we're going to jump into this tarot and see what we have for my sagittarians mother father divine holy spirit of the most high god messages for my sagittarius gang for their highest good anything to help bring them clarity messages to help empower them and messages to help them align to their highest vibrational timeline all praise and glory to the most high god forever and ever and ever and ever and ever um what do we have in the recent past here for my sages i'm gonna grab these cards and then we'll jump into it recent past for my sagittarians For some of my Sages, whatever this is, this was in the relationship sphere. What do we have currently? Whether this is romantic relationships, family relationships, uh, co-workers, um, relationships in business, whatever it may be, okay? What do we have currently? Thank you so much, Spirit. Woo! Dang! Okay, see, that's what I like to see. Thank you. And what do we have incoming? Here come the sun, family. 
Wow, beautiful, beautiful energy. Moving past a lot of sadness and hurt here. Some betrayal. Maybe somebody, uh, some toxicity, right? Somebody did you dirty or, or something like that. Um, wow. Okay, thank you. So this is the theme of the reading here. And this card is... Um, it is only in this deck here it is the well and we're actually going to end up reading that card as well right but what this is is you really diving deep really having deep realizations really going deep into the meaning of these situations these relationships these happenings and um gaining a lot of clarity and again i do feel like you are realizing what this situation happened for um you're realizing why it happened for you and you know that it didn't happen to you there's something that's coming of this we're going to read this before we even jump into this the well astrological correspondence gaia earth um, the well is the birthplace of ideas, inspiration, and transformation. All things are birthed from this creatrix, and knowledge flows freely to those who seek it. It stands for nurturing, opportunity, nature, and creativity. Okay, y'all. Similar to that judgment, this is a birth of a new start, a new vibration, a new chapter. Um, because in the recent past here... Um, we do have, like I said, a very relationshipy feel here to where somebody, <clears throat> somebody did you dirty or something happened here within this connection um, that really caused a lot of hurt. Okay, and I see you, King of Swords, Queen of Swords. I see you gaining clarity and having to sort of emotionally disconnect and try to see things for what they really were. Maybe somebody was um, getting a lot of attention in um, in a romantic relationship or talking to other people or some something like that. Um, or maybe somebody was just being an asshole um trying to act like they were better than you trying to um rain on your parade in some way right and what i see is you sort of severing ties with this situation emotionally disconnecting a bit and seeing things for what they really were you're seeing the truth um and you're realizing a lot which brings us to your current energy you're in the eight of cups energy sagittarius so you're moving away from the things that no longer serve you regardless of how much you've had put into these situations energy wise time wise money wise love wise um some things just don't serve us some things some situations sag we were meant to enter in and classes in session right we're there to learn a lesson we're there to learn about ourselves we're there to learn about other people we are there to learn how to set healthy boundaries and that's exactly what i see is i see you coming into these realizations and learning a lot um what I what it feels like here is that there's a new opportunity here for you, Sagittarius, to move towards something that is going to work out on a deep level, something that's going to be very emotionally fulfilling. And um, regardless of how this is resonating, if this is an apology coming back in, what I'm seeing is a lot of emotional growth in this relationship i'm seeing actions being taken to better the situation and i'm seeing you overall sagittarius taking action to take this opportunity from the universe and move forward with it and take from the past what you needed to take from it and really move towards your happiness really move toward what is fulfilling for you what what creates this beautiful calm happy loving energy and you're sort of embodying that energy right now as well raising your vibration um to be able to attract what it is that you want and deserve in your life in the incoming energy y'all like i said here comes the sun family this is beautiful energy i see you stepping into the light i see you stepping into your happiness i see um a lot of fulfillment a lot of nourishment a lot of growth a lot of opportunity here in your incoming energy from you sort of 
in this temperance energy from you being patient and from you turning water into wine from you taking the hard times and really turning them into gold really turning lead into gold and really um making it happen here right this is really about patience and it's really about that spiritual growth that angelic guidance your ancestors your angels your guides here with you sort of holding your hand and leading you forward in this situation i feel like for some of my sagittarians there's a new relationship here there is a new opportunity and you're really moving toward this beautiful new opportunity ten of cups ten of pentacles i do believe this has sort of been a theme with the fire signs uh aries i think had the same uh, card. So some of you may be dealing with an Aries. You may have Aries in your chart very heavily. This is your incoming energy though. This is you creating and moving into the life that you truly want. Um, the house, the dog, the white picket fence, the whole nine, whatever your happiness looks like, whatever your ideal life looks like, this is what you're moving towards regardless if it is the family with the dog and blah 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 this is you really moving into um being totally emotionally fulfilled and really making moves that are creating this legacy that you are building and again turning that lead into gold taking all your past lessons taking all of this and turning it into something very beautiful and again the well here so you are at the well you're filling up your containers you're filling up emotionally um and whatever this situation is it is going to bring a lot of happiness and help you move out of this five of pentacles energy where you are um maybe some of you are getting over a cold as well or something like that but this is really feeling like you're not good enough it's being devastated by something it's really feeling like you weren't enough you couldn't do enough um or sort of a poverty lack mindset and in the five of pentacles this is really about shifting your focus changing your vibration doing this healing work so that you can move into your abundance and really putting your energy into the situations relationships things and places that are fulfilling you that are putting back into you so let's grab some advice for my sages wow the artist the seven of wands the four of wands spirit wants you to know that you are at the advantage right now there may be some chaos going on around you but you are in fact the king of the hill right here and this is really about protecting your endeavors protecting your energy um, I will link my spiritual protection magic video up here. Um, it will really help you protect your aura, protect your energy um, so that you're not as influenced and impacted by surrounding energies because you are the artist. You are the magician in this situation. And uh, coming up, it's really going to be about um, putting your energy towards your creations, putting your energy toward into your business, putting your energy into this new relationship, putting your energy into your family, whatever it is you're trying to create here, Sagittarius, this is about you creating that and um, moving through this portal into this beautiful new energy, very much so judgment energy, where a whole old cycle and chapter of your life is done and over with, and you're waking up into this beautiful new cycle. Maybe some of my um, Sag is having a, a, a type of spiritual awakening where you're really growing and leveling up on a spiritual level and realizing that where attention goes, energy flows, and things work out if you want them to things work out if you hold that vision if you take this opportunity to follow your intuition and follow your heart here that's when things work out for us sagittarius and this is when we truly align to our dreams this is when we get into an energy and vibration where we are able to create the life that we want this star card here wow right under it the magician you guys very much so an emphasis on Focusing your emotions, focusing your mental space, focusing your energy right now 
on what it is that you want to move towards, writing it down on paper, speaking, claiming, and affirming that it is yours and it is here, bringing a state and vibration of gratitude, um, gratitude to source, to the universe for um, aligning you with your dreams, you guys. At, oh my Lord, you guys, all of these major arcanas, the Empress, the chariot, the magician, the um, star, Aquarius energy out here, Gemini energy, Cancer energy, um, Libra, Virgo energy. Um, all of these are major arcanas. So this is huge for you, Sagittarius. And this is a big leap into a beautiful new life for you. So you guys, focus on the goal at hand. Stay focused. Ground into your truth. Make sure you are taking care of yourself, drinking plenty of water, getting plenty of rest, eating a nice, light, healthy diet right now, um, and keeping your temple clean and your energy focused. Because you guys, I see you. I see a dream come true right here. I literally see a dream come true for my Sagittarians, and I see the universe coming in with this offer to create that and um that is that this is going to bring in this harmony that came out at the beginning of the reading so you really truly are realigning here you're aligning with your path of destiny you're aligning with your wants and desires you're aligning with this beautiful light and filling yourself and your life up with it sagittarius we're going to look into these romance angels. I have this Kali Oracle deck and this Moonology Oracle deck as well. Spirit, what do we have in my Sag's heart space right now? Yeah, there's been a lot of healing here for you, Sagittarius. This is bringing in that childlike vibration. Your love life is being affected by children, codependency, past life relationship, unrequited love. So I do see you moving away from a situation that was just draining you. Maybe this is a person that you have children with or something like that. Um, uh, some type of codependent relationship. And this is that King of Swords energy that I felt with the Six of Wands. You're realizing these things and you're seeing them for what they really are. And you're really moving into your truth here, Sagittarius. And you're cutting off anybody that isn't serving you. Anybody that's just taking from you, taking from you, taking advantage of you. And we have free yourself here. It's time to take back control of your life and love yourself first and by doing so this is what's going to bring this beautiful new energy into your life um so i really feel like there's a major ending of an old cycle here for you sagittarius in the beginning of your dream okay divine mother what do we have man it's so much snow out there them kids outside playing we got a few inches last night we didn't have any snow here in detroit and i woke up and it was snow everywhere and kids out there getting it. <laughs> what do we have? Divine Mother. So this is bringing that childlike. There is children involved some way. Whether this is you bringing that happy, um, happy-go-lucky, playful energy into your situation to help you, um, to help you step into the light, to help you attract what you want, or just to help lighten the mood and shift into this new cycle for you, Sagittarius. What do we have for my Sagittarius? Whoa. Okay. Through journeying within, you will gain energy, insight, and freedom from the constraints of what has been. Allow that which needs to end to do so. You shall recognize that you're not being denied, but released. There's something new on the horizon for you. Woo -wee. Um, Honor your losses, but keep hope in your heart for what is meant to be. There is not always a need to try to grapple and conquer. Sometimes the need is just simply to let go. Just because another has created a certain reality for themselves and is attempting to draw you in does not mean that you must participate. You have the divinely granted gift of choosing where to invest your energy. So be kind to yourself. Just clarifying this message here. When momentum is building and you don't know how to stop fueling the fire or reverse the damage, 
Kali brings grace and freedom from negative patterning and stubborn mindsets resistant to change. Now is a powerful time for spiritual work and healing practices. She will support your work and much growth can come from it. The storm shall be gentled and you shall emerge unharmed. And if anybody would like to dive a little deeper into this situation, book a personal reading with me. Holler at me. My information's down in the description box below. Shoot me a message on uh, social media. Shoot me an email. I will get back to you as soon as I can. We're going to grab one last card from this Moonology deck. If this reading uh, resonated or was entertaining in any way, I would appreciate it a ton if you... Hit that thumbs up for me. Share this video. Drop me a comment down below. All of your interaction really helps these videos catch the algorithm so that way they can get out to more people. What do we have for my Sages here? Spirit. This is a couple different situations coming through as well. Prosperity lies ahead. Um, so like I said, only take what resonates, leave the rest. Step out of your comfort zone, North Node. A time for healing, balsamic moon. And for some of you, your commitment is being tested. And I am sort of getting two different situations here. One, it's a relationship where there, things are going to work out. For others, there is definitely a situation that you need to leave behind, a relationship that you need to leave behind. And you, each of you will know intuitively how this resonates for you but we're going to read this balsamic moon because this is what i'm being guided to read and i feel like regardless of the situation this is going to be the message for you um overall especially with judgment and the well and all of that coming through um pulling this card suggests that the past is the past and a bright future is beckoning straight up y'all got y'all have the sun coming in regardless of how this resonates for you however before you take your next step make sure that both you and the situation feel healed this is not the time to paper paper over the cracks or to simply pretend everything is okay rather you still need a little more time to heal and to soothe both yourself and anyone else in need then remind yourself that anything is possible if you believe it this is also a time to surrender and to wait to hear guidance from the universe powerful insights can be had if you know that someone or something really isn't good for you this card is a reminder to surrender start to work on your belief in your dreams so that when you're ready so that you are ready when the time comes your affirmation for this card is when one is healed all are healed or your attunation attuned to the moon when one is healed all are healed additional meanings it's time to let go of the past you're about to turn the corner you need more time to heal and think about how this situation would look if everyone were healed and you guys again with the magician where attention goes energy flows spirit wants you to know that whatever it is this is working out for your highest good chariot you are moving into victory you are moving into abundance you are moving into this overflowing love and all of my sagittarians are truly aligning to their path of destiny so sagittarius that is what i have for you don't let your past hold you back Pros prosperity lies ahead beautiful 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 energy this was very deep family and here comes the sun let's take a deep cleansing breath before we tap out sort of clear this energy clear this space hold it squeeze your abdominal squeeze your perineum shoot that energy up out your crown chakra hold it hold it hold it and release 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 family get ready for this beautiful new chapter sagittarius and i hope to see you beautiful souls on the next reading